two and a half weeks out from the election. How do you think the sex party's placed? Look, I think we've placed very well. I mean, it, obviously, it's a much broader field than it was in 2010, but our campaigns have been getting a lot of traction. And look, I think we probably still are the major minor party in this election. And where do you think your best chance of winning, picking up an upper house seat is? It certainly looks like Northern Metro and Southern Metro are where we seem to be picking up um, a lot of support. So I'd be guessing those. And what, what particular you, you know, your party looks at drug reform and um, tax, looking at the way religious institutions are taxed, mm. what particular issues do you find that people who have indicated they'll vote for you um, are sort of winning, cutting through? What are the cut through yeah. issues? You think? Yeah, look, I think it's really interesting. And I mean, when broadly things like the East West Link and public transport are out there, what people are really nodding at and engaging with is things like religious institutions and businesses paying their fair share of tax, medical marijuana, and and drug law reform on a much bigger scale. And this last parliament um, with Jeff Shaw, there's been a focus uh, about abortion. There's been fears that abortion reform may be on the table from some elements of the community. Other elements are saying this is good. We need to talk about abortion law reform. What's the sex party's stance on this? We are absolutely pro-choice and do not want to see any changes to the Victorian legislation as it stands today. It's one of the best, not only in Australia, but it's one of the best in the world. And my fear is with so many kind of uh, conservative and religious political parties running this time that they may well hold the balance of power and abortion may be back on the agenda. And, and if, you, if, you, if you succeed and you get into Parliament and you, and you find yourself in a position of balance of power, is there one particular side you'll favour or the other or you'll take every issue on its, on its merits? Yeah, I think we'll take every issue on its merit. And it, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, you really, most people can't perceive much difference between Labor and Liberals these days. So we will work with the government of the day as best.